A two-inch cookie is cut out of a steel plate by one of a battery of automatic oxyacetylene torches. Roughly the same end result could be accomplished in any one of several other ways, for the engineers of our machine tool industries never stop developing new methods of processing metal. Here it's grinding and milling. Here, a brass cutting tool that eats its way accurately through a much harder metal by arcing electricity across the narrow gap that separates them. The techniques, as we said, are many and various. But as machinery manufacturers like W.J. Savage Company of Knoxville well know, the specialized problems of metalworking industries are even more numerous and more diverse than the means of solving them. This company's answer to a great many of those problems is a piece of equipment called the nibbling machine, one model of which we see being assembled here. A finished machine is put to the test on a piece of 3 8 inch steel plate. A powerful cutting tool bites through the plate rapidly and smoothly without distorting or oxidizing it, without throwing sparks or leaving jagged edges. This machine would appear to be ready to join the thousands already in operation in factories everywhere, nibbling their way through miles of tough metal of all kinds every working day. As here in the machine shop of a soybean mill, where an odd-shaped opening must be cut in the center of a fairly large plate of steel. The cutting tool snips its way along the chalk line following sharp corners and gentle curves with equal accuracy and speed. The work is finished. No more machining necessary. The part is ready for installation. Another job accomplished by one of those industries whose products are never seen by the general public, but whose skill and ingenuity in serving other industries are essential to the continuation of our way of life.